the Igbo Ugo community in Aguata local government area of Anambra State, Aguata Diocese, the extended Ezefe family, other relatives, friends, and well wishes celebrated the centenary birthday anniversary of Idesa Justice Chinwike Ezefe JP. Born in 1923, Sir Justice is, from, is first from the community and the second in the old Aguata local government area to obtain a Bachelor of Arts from the University of London, among other feats achieved. The birthday celebration, which commenced with a church service at Holy Trinity Anglican Church, Iwo Uku, was well attended by traditional rulers, Idu Royal Cabinets, members of Dennis Memorial Grammar School and Boys Association, Orca, Diocese and Council of Knights, clergymen from both Roman Catholic Church, Salvation Army, and other denom denominations, among other dignitaries. In his sermon, the Anglican Bishop of Newi Diocese, the Right Reverend Undubisi Obi, who recalled the humble beginnings, academic pursuit, and teaching career at DMGS, and positive contribution of the celebrant to the growth and church and development of the society, said celebrating 100 years is a clear manifestation of God's blessings and favor. <laughs> In his remarks, Venerable David Obiagboso, on behalf of the diocese and Right Reverend Chukudi Oziofo, relayed the diocese in charge to him to remain focused and continued in prayers and devotion in the Word of God. My final words for a day is to remain focused, just like the bishop asked me to tell him, he should remain focused and he should continue in prayer and devotion in the Word of God. And that is the way out. And whatever he knows he needs to hand over, he should begin to do that. Whatever he knows, let him tell people. Whatever he knows where they are, let him tell people. And then keep on. And waiting on to the Lord. The Lord has tried in his life. And uh, I believe we still have more years to live. At a reception in his honor at his country home, the children of the centenarian Sir Justice thanked all who gathered to celebrate with him, urging all to continue to have faith in God, live righteous life, and help those in need. My heart is full. I am so happy. I am so elated. Glory be to God for the opportunity, the grace to witness today. I thank God for the gift of life, not just life, but good health and uh, soundness of mind. The spiritual one is that he continues to be healthy and, and that I look forward to coming back again in 10 years to do this on a, on a grander scale. My father has laid a very wonderful foundation for us as children. One, like I said, being honest, integrity. He instilled that into us. And then punctuality. And then the fear of God. It's one of the things that my father has instilled in all of us. Abba has been a wonderful man to us. He has been a caring father. He is wonderful. I don't know how to describe him. So many, so many ways. He was a disciplinarian. I remember that I was deputy snow prefect. Uh, and every morning, there was a particular word he would always repeatedly tell us. People should not do this, people should not do that. And I tell you, each time I want to misbehave, then and I remember those his words. I always uh, um, control myself and display myself.